Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to the fourth inning program episode. In this episode, we're going to go over what cards you're going to get, as you can see on the screen. Also going to go over who I think you should be picking, how we are going to get the XP for it, and how to do it the quickest way possible. So if you'd like to watch that, stick around. So we are in the fourth inning, and this will be going on for another 28 days, so until the end of the month. It's going to be a good one. I think there's a lot of stuff in here that is well worth the time to go ahead and do it. I feel like there's a lot more stuff added in. I would say a lot more stuff, but there's some more extra stuff in this this fourth inning than the third inning. So let's go ahead and start it. We're going to go to programs, fourth inning here. You're going to come up with this, and here are all the things you're going to earn. So you're going to earn some packs, a ball player pack, some it's July, uh, 4th of July theme, so you're going to get a lot of like fireworks and stuff like that. You're going to go through here. You get five packs, ball player packs. You get a fourth inning player pack here between Raleigh Fingers, uh, Tony Perez, and John Smoltz. Yes, another John Smoltz card because we didn't get enough of them last year. You're also going to get the red, white, and blue batting, batting glove. You're going to get a 42 player here, so if you don't have these, here's another chance for you to grab those. You're also going to get the Baltimore 1966 home jerseys gonna get a classic player here between Edmund Jock Peterson and Trevor May in this choice pack just looking at them quickly not anything crazy there Jock Peterson those power numbers are gonna be crazy especially lefty lefty and then the Trevor May card which might actually be pretty 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 nasty in your lineup gonna get some more red white and blue stuff gonna get a legend icon gold ball player perk San Francisco Giants jersey, and then the moment you've all been waiting for, the fourth inning bosses, we're going to get Wander Franco, Christy Mathewson, and Eddie Murray. Now, I'll go over all of these stats and everything, kind of discuss them, and then at the end, I'll tell you guys who I'm going to be picking and who you should pick if you're looking for a certain thing. So, the first one is Wander Franco. You got the 99 the last what, week or something. And a lot of people love the card. I didn't really hit very well with it, so it's not really a card I'm looking to invest a lot in right now. Uh, you're getting a 117 contact, 115 contact versus left, 94 power right, 84 power left. The vision, discipline, um, and clutch all very high. I also like that you're getting the diamond fielding, the 87 fielding, the 92 arm, the 90 accuracy, and the 86 Reaction. You're also getting a speed guy with 84 speed. Going to be able to steal you a couple of bases there. I struggle so much lefty lefty. Sometimes I struggle righty righty. And to be able to just not worry about it and just know that you're going to be going against whatever the pitchers are is great. Also want to throw in that he's not, not only a shortstop but a second baseman and third baseman as well. Next guy is going to be Christy Matthewson, the triple crown, which is crazy that he had 37 wins in his season 259 strikeouts which is just crazy to look at you're gonna get a 99 overall christy Matthews card you're gonna get 124 stamina 96 hits per nine 97 k's per nine 107 walks per nine which is really really good because that's that just tells you how good he is control wise then you're getting the 99 home runs per nine velocity break all that good stuff there as well the pitching breakdown you're gonna get the screwball which if you don't know anything about it, it's a very hard very very hard pitch to hit and rank especially when you're seeing 99 mile an hour fastballs all the time you drop a 77 mile an hour screwball it's going to be tough to hit get that pitch you get the 95 four seam 73 12 to 6 curve you get the 82 changeup and a 92 sinker this is i really do think this is probably an in-game card just because of the screwball and the sinker and the difference in pitches 95 to 77 and 95 to 73 that's a crazy difference and pitching velocity so if you're looking for an in-game pitcher if you're needing a, a really good pitcher now your bullpen struggling this would be your guy to go out and get last guy we're gonna go over is the gold glove eddie murray card first baseman unfortunately that's all he plays there's no secondary position so really limited here however you're getting a 100 contact right 125 contact left 101 power right 104 power left 101 vision discipline 95 117 clutch which is really good 
Then you're getting that diamond defense as well with the 92 fielding, 81 arm, 91 accuracy, and the 86 reaction. Not much for speed there, so you're not going to steal a lot of bases with him. But a great card if you need a switch guy in your lineup, a switch hitter. So definitely a good thing if you struggle versus a certain thing. If, if you have the David Ortiz and you struggle lefty-lefty, this is a guy that you can bring in off the bench, and he's going to go both sides for you. So... A very good card and probably one of the best cards out right now as far as just top to bottom. Um, there's a few cards probably better like Chipper. But top to bottom, this is a really, really good card. So going over these in general, if you're needing a shortstop, you're needing a second baseman, third baseman. That's a 99. That's a switch hitter, which is a big deal that they're switched because you can bat both sides and have really no problem reading the ball out of the hands. Uh, Wander Franco. At shortstop, second base, third base could be the guy for you. If you're needing that in-game pitcher already and you don't want to wait to get this card maybe later on, then Christy Matthewson I think would be a very good card for you to pick, and I think you would get a lot of value from him right now. If you're needing a first baseman that hits switch, or if you're needing a first base, if you don't have David Ortiz, then Eddie Murray might be the guy to go out and get. To me, I already have... I already have Big Poppy, so Eddie Murray is going to be a guy I probably don't pick first. However, I do think he's the best card out of all of these cards. If you're needing that first baseman, if you're wanting that switch hitter um, to come off the bench or wanting him to play first, whatever, uh, Eddie Murray is your guy to pick. So let's go ahead and finish what we get in these packs as we go. Going to ball it as a habit pack. Uh, another batting glove. The sick Tampa Bay Rays road jerseys from 1999. You're getting a 10-pack. Classic Stadium 10 pack, Diamond Ball Player, the Kitchen Sink 1 and Kitchen Sink 2, which have some pretty high profile guys in these. So, definitely something that'll be good to, to get um, if you didn't get the Kitchen Sink ones earlier. And then for the first time, they said you're getting a 90 plus live series card. So, you're getting a card that's going to be worth quite a bit, hopefully. You're getting a card that's going to be worth quite a bit and a guy that you might not have in your collections if you don't. Have all the collections done if you're trying to save up for some high high profile guys like a Mike Trout, like Fernando Tatis. These cards that are over a hundred thousand stubs. Uh, th this is the chance to get them here. So to go over all of this and then talk about the XP you'll need to be earning. You get XP as you go. You get the XP for the next 28 days. Once you get 650 thousand, you've unlocked every thing in here now how to get those xp you can do it many different ways but ultimately it's just from playing the game you can get it from ranked you can get it from playing the computer you can get it from doing conquest you can you can do it from anything basically so i want to throw that out there that you can get xp from anything i don't want to say oh you can only get it from these tasks that you see below that's not true you can get it from anywhere just playing the game you're going to get xp but the fastest ways of getting XP are to try to complete these tasks below and do them as fast as you possibly can to get because what I'm gonna do honestly I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna pick them as fast as I can and depending on the fourth inning boss I grab who I think I, I could use and who I would like to have and I try them out and if I don't like them I sell them for a very very large amount because these these are going to be so right now yeah this is 320,000 300,000 400 that 20,000 like these are just so big right now that you can sell them and end up buying all three back later for the price you sold it for so that's what I'm going to do so you kind of want to get these XP quickly so that you can get to that point and then sell it make all the stubs and then later on buy them uh, buy all three of them for what you paid for the one but if you are just a casual player and need the xp this is how you're going to do it as well you're going to get daily missions here usually there's four i don't know if there's ever any more than four but you're going to get the daily missions and again they're daily so every 24 hours these reset um so make sure you try to get these done because it, yeah even though they're 1200 a thousand a thousand a thousand that adds up so if you do these every day and say these are a thousand you're getting four thousand xp every single day uh, most of these are pretty pretty easy to do if you play like rank seasons or battle royale or event game. Uh, a lot of these are pretty easy to get. You also get the exchange of leg guards, players, like exchanging cards like that. You get the XP there as well. 
You also can do it with the missions, and these missions, I believe, get longer and longer as you go. So as we go throughout the fourth inning, there will probably be more of these inning tasks. However, try to knock these out as quick as possible. Some pretty good XP from them if you win 10 competitive games on Ranked Seasons Battle Royale or events, you get 5k there. Um, tally 20 hits with prospects and stuff, and that most of those cards are going to be in your lineup anyway. You're going to get another 5k there. If you get 5 saves with Diamond Pitchers, that's another almost 4,000 there. And then strikeouts with Diamond Pitchers, that's another almost 4,000. So, yeah, you get these knocked out, you're going to get about 20,000, a little under 20,000 for these. But, again, easy 20,000 XP. The next easiest, which I will probably knock out first because it pro it's a very easy conquest map comparatively to some of them and I think you could knock this out pretty quick and it's easy 25,000 XP so I can't believe some people don't actually do the conquest because you get so much XP from it and you get a lot of packs along the way you could do it with the fourth inning program conquest pack I can show you that now let's jump into it and it's the American flag so in here you're gonna unlock packs as you go through this you're also gonna learn uh, earn XP stubs, whatever else. And then there's also the goals tab. If you hit Y, you can conquer all this. You get XP this way as well. You get some packs, which some of these packs are pretty good. Um, you get a couple show packs. You get uh, the Showtime pack. And then you get the MLB Pro Prime Maple Patriot Bat, I'm guessing is a bat. But you're going to get all that once you beat this on top of the 25,000 XP that you're going to get for inning four. So last thing to do in the inning four conquest when you first start it, there'll be other stuff you can do and they'll add stuff as we go. Usually there's a couple more conquest maps throughout the month, but this is just starting out. You could do the collections and the biggest collection here is this one, the third inning, uh, all the third inning bosses from the third inning. You can basically put these in and get 50,000 XP. Uh, if you do the daily moments, you're going to be rewarded as well. If you do the daily moments and get the awards Nelson Cruz card, you can lock that in for 20K. Same thing with the signature Whit Whitley Ford. You can uh, get that one as well. That's going to give you 20. So 40,000 XP there, 50,000. So just doing these will get you 90,000. They usually add stuff along the way as well later on if you need help getting that XP. But yeah, the biggest one is this. Go ahead and buy them if you want to. Right now, I believe they're around. Okay, they jumped. Yep, they jumped back up because of the thing. Usually, you can get these around 40,000. I got all of mine around 40,000 when they drop for a while. And that would be my suggestion for the fifth inning as well. Once the fourth inning cards drop to around 40,000-ish, maybe 45,000-ish, make sure you grab them. That way, you can lock these in because, like... Not only are you getting the 50,000 XP here, but look, I'm getting 20,000 stubs as well. And I spent, f I, I, I actually bought, or I actually unlocked the, no, I unlocked the Eckersley one when I got the third inning done. I got Eckersley and I sold him for, I think, 75,000 stubs. And then I went back and bought Eckersley, uh, Sizemore, and Gloss all for 40,000 or less. And so basically, I end up making 10,000 stubs off of all of this by collecting these. So I would suggest doing that. And if you're looking forward towards the fifth inning, I would suggest getting the fourth inning bosses as well when they drop to around 40, 45,000. It all kind of depends on how, who's buying it, how much they're selling it for, and stuff like that. But that would be my suggestion. That way, you can come in next inning, the fifth inning, get the free 50,000 XP and the amazing 20,000 stubs. So we're going to go ahead and lock this in already. Get that 20,000 uh, stubs and the 50,000 XP. We've already jumped all the way up past six. So that would be my suggestion to getting stuff done quickly. But again, you can play ranked. You can play anything and gain XP throughout the next 28 days to help you complete this fourth inning. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on any of the MLB content coming out soon. Till next time, Slacker out.